George Sigalakis is on a mission to make this iron relic a thing of the past. When this hydrant was first created, we had horses pulling our steam-operated pumps, and we went to Model T pumpers. That was the big advance. Now we have trucks that cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, can put out 1,500 gallons per minute for an average truck. The weak link became how we access our water system. Tough to break into, but super easy to access if you're a firefighter. First, if you'll notice the cap here, it's got a bevel. So even in the dark, this will self-guide itself in. I just simply crack the, the wrench, spin it off, and I have accessibility to the fire hydrant. I put the wrench on, and I can open the water. And then you have this highly resilient acetyl polymer that we use that repels the rock, spits them out, yet it seals the uh, water from going in and out. That's why you're not going to have a leak in your frozen hydrant in some areas. Time to see if the new kid on the block can live up to its name. This hydrant has a smoother flow. The flow itself is designed from the pipe up in order to get us better uh, gallons per minute to our trucks. 